Guinea-Bissau celebrated its 50th Independence Armed Forces Day in a spectacular fashion at a ceremony held in the capital attended by leaders, including the President of the Republic, His Excellency Adam Abaro. President Umaru Sisoko Mbalo, who is also the Commander-in-Chief of the Bissau Guinean Army, arrived at the event wearing military uniform under heavy guard. <laughs> The event commemorates 50 years since the founding of the army, which started as a guerrilla militia fighting against Portuguese colonial rule. It has since evolved into a highly organized force tasked with defending the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Guinea-Bissau. The event was characterized by a march pass, forced by veterans of the army and then different formations of the armed forces, including the infantry, navy, air force and paramilitary forces. Elite commando units soon followed with a display of military might and vestiges of the guerrilla life that saved this army. President Mbalo described the event as a reminder of the sacrifices of the men and women of the Guinea-Bissau Armed Forces, urging unity and peace among citizens. He praised the armed forces as guardians of the state, reassuring that his government will do everything to improve the lives of the service members and the veterans. The Revolutionary Armed Forces of the People, as the army is officially called, began as a guerrilla force that fought a bloody war of independence in the 1960s and 70s, later playing a key role in Guinea-Bissau political life. With this new dispensation under the leadership of General Umaru Sisako Mbalo, the armed forces has been subordinated to civilian authority, paving the way to peace and stability. Momoru Jalo, GRCS News.